What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review and welcome back to another episode of Beginner Bike Skills with Brian. If you haven't met Brian yet, Brian has been at mountain biking for about a month or two. He's very raw, very fresh into it, so we're teaching him some basic skills, everything from a bike check and what you need on the trails, to manuals, drops, bunny hops, all the basic skills he needs to be a more well-rounded rider and ride safe but fast. And maybe you'll get an opportunity to see me crash. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the manual. The manual is one of the most important tools that you can have in your toolbox as a mountain biker. I'm not talking about the manual where you manual down the street for 45 minutes with your friends like the pros are doing. I'm talking about the basic form of lifting your front tire off of the ground. It's a start for a J hop. It's a start for drops. It can help you get over logs and different obstacles. It's just a really good core skill to have. You ready for this? Absolutely. All right, let's jump into it. I need to be out here with these bugs. I need my latte. That butt back. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. All right, guys. So the first things first when it comes to a manual, what is a manual? A manual is literally balancing on your back wheel without pedaling. It's as simple as that. You think of your back wheel as your balance point. It's almost like a seesaw. The front of your bike has its weight. You're gonna shift your weight back and balance out the bike so it can ride on that back wheel. Now again, we're not trying to manual a minute down the road here. We're just trying to get that front wheel off the ground long enough to get it over a nice log or to help you roll off a drop nice and even. As you progress over time, you'll get better and better. Your manuals will get longer. You'll find the balance point, so on and so forth. Start slow. Yeah. All right guys, so to get started with the manual, the first thing we're gonna learn is to get our front wheel off the ground. What I normally like to teach people is literally just get into your attack mode and try to pull up and lift your front wheel off the ground. It's a very simple move, but getting used to having your wheel off the ground is ultimately gonna lead you to a manual. A little compression down, and just pick your front wheel up. Just get comfortable with being on the back wheel. So Brian is back on his bike. He's gonna to try to find a little flat ground here. And again, just start by trying to pump that front wheel off the ground. Just get used to that motion. Pushing down with his arms, pulling up, allowing that front wheel to come off the ground. How does that feel? Scary. There you go. It's a little scary. Brian's on flat pedals, so if he did have to bail, he could jump right off the bike. So the next step of the manual is going to be learning to get your front wheel off the ground using your body weight and your legs as well as your arms. So I always like to think of manuals at two motions. You start in your attack position, you're gonna go down, and then you're gonna go back. So remember, down and back, two motions. So let's try it. So nice flat surface, remember, down and back. So I'm gonna go down and back. Now what I'm doing when I do that, I'm pulling up with my hands, I'm pushing down with my legs, and I'm putting all of my weight back to again, balance on that back wheel. So it's all one fluid motion. As my arms pull up, my legs are actually pushing my back wheel out. So that one motion gets you up, and then my butt being way back is what keeps me balanced on that back wheel and how people are riding along a manual. Getting to that balance point will take time, but let's start with this step. You just do it over and over. Now when you're first getting rolling, doing it nice and slow can help. It's also easier in flat pedals. I'm in clipped pedals, which are a little more dangerous because if I go over the back end of the bike, I'm probably gonna flop on my back. With flat pedals- Can you, can you show actually, us that motion, Jimmy? <laughs> you can actually jump off of the back of the bike and land like this. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the beginning, probably the most important thing here is making sure that you have a handle on your brakes. This is gonna be your rear brake. Obviously, your front tire is not on the ground, so your front brake is gonna be useless. You don't wanna use that. You don't wanna go up, jam your front brake, and flip over. So just your back brake, but you wanna be very subtle. Now once you start to get comfortable with being on your back wheel, you can pick up a little more speed, which actually makes it easier. Down and back. Now one thing you'll notice as you get better at these manuals is how you can pump your legs. Once you're up in your balance point, if you bend your legs, your front wheel's gonna go down. If you stretch your legs, your front wheel's gonna go up. Now think about why is that? When I'm up in this position, if I stretch my legs, it's again pushing that back wheel out under me. So that allows you, if your front tire starts to drop, you push your legs out, brings your front tire back up a little bit to that balance point. If you feel you're going over, you bring your legs in, that's actually gonna shift the tire back and bring your tire down a little bit. 
If you're very gentle with your brake, you can actually flutter your brake and use that to help you with your balance point as well. All right, so now that Brian's pretty used to getting that front wheel off the ground, we're gonna have him try the second movement, which is the actual manual. So he's gonna focus on that attack mode. He's gonna bring his butt two motions, his butt down and then back. There you go, that was good. So as you can see, he's still pulling with his arms, but it's much more subtle now that he's using his legs and his body weight to also lift that front wheel. Very good, man. Remember, it's all those two motions. When I was learning, I literally in my head would just say down and back, down and back. It get, make sure you're in a low enough position. And there you go. That was a good oh, bail. I my stops. <laughs> Brian ripped a hole in his shorts, but that was good. Brian had to bail. He got a little nervous. He's on flat pedals. He was able to jump off the bike and land safely. Ooh, air conditioning shorts now. <laughs> now he has air conditioning. So you're gonna fall, you have to be willing to flip over. We're doing this on dirt. We never wanna do this on pavement. It's a very dangerous move to flip over on pavement. So do it on dirt, you can try it on grass. Dirt's nice and compact, so it makes it a little easier. Very nice, man. So the next step in learning to manual, we're gonna try to roll over some obstacles. Like I said, the manual is meant to be a tool. So we have a tiny log, we have a medium log, and we have a big log. And what I'm gonna do, start with a tiny log. And the goal here is to start your manual right before the tiny log, and then just manual enough to get your back tire over. Again, this is gonna take some time, but this is the manual as a tool. When you're riding the trail, if there's an obstacle in your way, to go over it a little faster, you can literally just manual over it. The back wheel will roll right over. Your weight's already back, you're not at risk of flipping over the bars. So let's give this a try. Remember, lift your wheel right before the log and manual over. Down and back, rolls right over. Now, let's put a bigger log. For his videos. <laughs> Down, back. The big log! Oh, puppy. Uh. Uh. Now this log's quite bigger than the other two, but again, if you focus on that, keeping your weight back over the bike, the rear wheel and your rear suspension will eat that thing right up. So let's give it a try. Bike eats it right up. All right, Brian, remember, down and back, lift that front wheel right before the log. Good. Now one thing you'll notice is when there's something in front of you, you get a bit intimidated. So Brian was actually manualing better before, but now that there's a log there, it makes him a little nervous. But with a little more momentum and a little bit of practice, he'll get a lot smoother. There you go, good recovery. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> and that's what it's all about. You're gonna flip over. It's gonna take some practice. He's figuring out where that balance point is. Solid recovery. Eight out of 10, Brian. Better. Time to switch to the bigger log. Now again, Brian's not gonna be perfect. This is Brian's first day learning to manual. This is gonna take time. We're kind of giving him the speed course here. He's doing great. We switched up to the bigger log. And like I said, even though he's not manualing completely over it, he's still a lot more comfortable and his bike's gonna power right over that log. Now we can already see Brian's progression over this log. Nice, man. That's good for today. Keep practicing. All right, guys, so now Brian has the basic skills to get him started with a manual. If you keep practicing those motions, the down and back, get used to that balance point, practice over some logs. You can even start practicing off of some smaller drops. But again, this is a tool to lead to other things. Just getting used to, again, your butt being over the back of the bike and being on that back wheel is gonna be a huge asset for you on the trails. So keep practicing, get after it. Let me know how it goes. Make sure you leave a comment and a like below. Thanks for watching, guys.